guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl nisha here and i am back with part two of decluttering my entire makeup collection literally i if you guys have seen part one i will link it down in the description box down below but we did get rid of quite a few of lip products i also did get rid of some few of them that didn't make it into the video that i decided later on that i did need to get rid of it but in this video i'll be showing you the entire collection of everything that we have thoroughly decluttered from my makeup collection it definitely was a lot of products and i think you guys would be surprised it didn't seem like i threw out a lot but when everything did come all together it was insane the amount of makeup that I had that was either not used, was expired, or like, I, I honestly don't know why I even bought it, but some of it was gratis as well. So some of it I just didn't end up using or I could have given away, but anywho, it was definitely a lot. So in this video, you are definitely going to see me declutter the rest of my makeup collection, which includes all my highlights, bronzers, blushes, all of my powders, my foundations, and my eyeshadow palettes. So that's all going to be included in this video over here. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you love to see uncluttering and organizing videos. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so now we are going to do the rest of my lip products and a bunch of my eye products and makeup products. So over here, I do have some of the, like, the Fenty products. The creams I know I did get last year, so all of these can definitely stay. I did get these like a few months ago. And this one as well can definitely stay too. This, these are all of my Kylie liquid lipsticks. However, I do know all of these are really old and they do need to go in the garbage, like literally all of them. I had these for like, ever since Kylie first released her liquid lipsticks back in like 2015, I believe. And I remember sitting and like ordering them. So all of these unfortunately do need to go in the garbage yeah all of them do like i literally own so many of her lips liquid lipstick because i love them so much but all these do need to go so that's empty this one over here a lot of these do need to go in the garbage On this last one, these ones aren't even open yet, so these ones are staying. Okay, so I've gone through all of these. These are the lips I'm gonna keep. So I'm gonna keep all of my NARS. These are my Anastasia ones. These ones I haven't opened just yet, just because I did get them last year during the sale. My Pat McGrath ones, these ones are also gonna keep as well. My Makeup by Mara, because I know I got this very recently, as similar to my Kylie. Basically, these are all the ones that I'm going to be tossing out. These ones are all really old, such as my Too Faced Melted Latex, back when Too Faced did carry these. So these are definitely going to go. All of my, even my Anastasia one from the other jars that I did show you guys, those ones I'm also going to toss out as well because they are really old. And I just recently remembered those ones aren't the one that I bought from the sale. It's these ones over here because these ones aren't open. Um, similar to my Anastasia lip, lip glosses, these are also going to go as well. My Huda Beauty Trophy Wipe, this is also going to go in the garbage because I did have these for a few years now. My Benefit Double the Lip, I have not used this, I haven't touched this in the years that I had it. This is going as well. My Kat Von D one, this is really old. Yeah, that is really old. And similar with these two, these are the Anastasia ones that I did pick from the other pile over there that we organized earlier. These I am going to toss as well because these are really old compared to these ones because I did thought these are the ones that I did get from the sale, but they weren't because these ones were open. So these are definitely all going to go. I also do have my Stila Liquid Lip as well, and this is also going to go in the garbage too. Okay, now it's time for this pile over here. Okay, these are going to stay because I did get these a few months ago. Okay, these are the old MAC collection. I have not used these very often. And these are very old because they are from like their old Christmas collection. So this is going to go in the garbage. Okay, so these are the ones that are going to stay. These are basically all of my Anastasia ones. These ones I have not opened yet. These are all pretty new. 
this I did get in gratis. Both of these oh, I haven't even opened yet. So I'm basically just tossing out these two Anastasia liquid lipsticks. These are in the shade Bohemian and Trust Issues. These are definitely going to go in the garbage. Now we're going to go on to all of these eye pencils over here. So I definitely know there are a lot of these I definitely need to throw up because I've had these for quite a while now. So I brought a tissue to put them on and then I'm going to reorganize them. Okay, so these are basically the only pencils that I'm actually keeping. These are a bunch of like unopened mascaras. And these are all basically the Makeup by Mario eye pencils. These are basically all that I use. And then I have my eyebrow pencils over here, all my benefit pencils, and my Huda Beauty pencil as well. So these ones I'm all keeping. And basically these are all gonna be going in the garbage. These are all very, very old. I still have some like the Tarte. These are from the holiday collection two years ago. I have some off-brand, have some indie brand eyeliners like Ofra, Hikari. Then I have this one by The Bomb. These are the Tarte Stay Awake. This one's really old, but not as old as these. So these are the Urban Decay eyeliner and these are the original Makeup Forever Aqua XL eyeliners that were from like, I think like four years ago, three, four years ago. Then I also have this Benefit two-sided in one glow up and high beam and sunbeam. Actually this I have not opened yet. So this is definitely going to stay because I haven't opened. This is again Ofra, this is Sigma Beauty. This is really old, similar to this one as well and this one. So these are all gonna go in the garbage. Now we have this little one over here. So this is a sharpener. I'm just gonna put this all out over here. So this is my Pro Conceal Color Corrector. This one I am keeping. This is my Passanti one, this has to go. So basically the only ones I'm keeping, I'm just keeping these four. So my Charlotte Tilbury um, eye pencil, my Pro Conceal, my lash primer, I have not opened this my clear brow pencil by Anastasia, and my Sephora collection blue eyeliner that I did get recently, and my sharpener. So all of these are just basically gonna go. These are my Caudal Vasanti waterline eyeliner, Sephora collection, Makeup Forever, the old eyeliner, Smashbox, Sephora collection again, and my Too Faced shadow insurance that is really old. So these are all basically gonna go in the garbage. So now we are going to move on to this crystal case over here. This one does have like a lot of really old products just because this used to be my OG case that I used to put all of my first stuff in. So basically these ones are fine. These ones I've had for quite some time. So these ones are going to stay. These are going to stay as well. So are these because these I did get them on sale last year. So these are staying. This, however, does have to go. This was the Marc Jacobs Bad Behavior Lipstick. This, I love the color of this, but I did get this a few years ago. So this definitely does have to go. All of these basically do have to go in the garbage just because I haven't used them. This is a bunch of like the free samples that we got um, that came with like the orders, such as like the Hourglass Mini Lipstick in the shade Red. You have the Tom Ford. This is an Indian Rose. These are basically really, really old. My Marc Jacobs one, this was part of the Rouge gift when they used to give out gifts for becoming like a Rouge member. And then my Armani lipstick. Yeah, so these are all gonna go in the garbage. So this is basically empty. I don't know why I have this. So this is going in the garbage. These two I got last year, so these are staying. Okay, all of these do have to go in the garbage. These are all really old. This is like the Buxom, Dolly, the NARS Orgasm, Lip Gloss. 
these are from the old collaborations with mac if you were an og mac fan you do remember this water collection that they did have years ago i remember i was still in high school and this was released and the rihanna collection so these ones are really really old um these definitely do have to go as well same with these this is the ariana grande collection this is an anastasia lip, lip gloss this does have to go and this is the mariah carey collection this also has to go as well because remember this was released a few years back yeah so these all have to go in the garbage Okay, all of these liners, I honestly believe these do have to go. Okay, so all of these liners do have to go in the trash because these are years, years old, like literally probably like four or five years old. These Sephora collection ones, these ones are really old. The Kylie one as well, I did have these for a few years. I also had some MAC ones. These ones I barely use. Like they're still pretty brand new. Like you can definitely see I haven't used this one yet and like yeah it's pretty old so all of these do have to go in the garbage i'm definitely gonna find new houses for these but for right now i'm just gonna declutter everything and reorganize it afterwards okay so now over here we have all of my foundations that are located over here some of these are quite old that definitely need to be gone in the garbage so let's start off from the back over here. So this is my Urban Decay one. Okay, so so far my NARS foundation does have to go. This is in the shade Syracuse. This has to go as well. My Becca Skin Love, I do have another one over here. This one is unopened. So this one definitely does have to go in the garbage. My Milk Foundation definitely has to go. This one I had for quite a while and it is uh, slightly not my shade. This is in the shade caramel. So this definitely does have to go. This is the cover FX drops These ones are really old. Uh, we don't even carry them at Sephora anymore So this one has to go my Tarte shave tape. This is also really old like about two years old This one also has to go in the trash my Estee Lauder foundations These ones also have to go in the garbage as well. These ones I had for about two years now Okay, so definitely my Fenty foundations do have to go in the garbage. I did receive this one in gratis um I think about over two years ago. So yeah, when I smelled it, it smelled really bad. So these definitely have to go. Um, also likewise with my Becca foundation, my Becca full coverage. This was my favorite full coverage foundation, but since Becca is being discontinued, and I did have this for quite some time, this definitely also does have to go in the garbage. Similar to my Too Faced foundation, this is in the shade Sand. I did have this for quite a while. Yeah, it does also smell really bad as well. So this one does also have to go in the garbage. So this is my Beauty Blender foundation. Um, I did receive this in gratis when they first initially launched. So I believe that was quite some time ago. Uh, so yeah, this also has to go, but I really love this foundation, so I might be able to repurchase this, but this also does have to go in the garbage. Okay, so now that we finished with the foundations, we are gonna go on to the primers. So there are quite a primers that I do not to get rid of, like I think like at least all of them. So there's the Becca one, this has to go. My Hourglass Veal, this one also has to be tossed out. My Hangover one, this one is new, so this one is going to stay. My Milk Gripping Primer also has to go. This is the NARS Sheer Radiant Booster. I did, I remember I did purchase this in 2019. This one also does have to go in the garbage. And so does this one too. Though I really did like this one, but I do believe I do have backups of these, so these ones do have to go as well as the cooling matte primer this one also has to go as well okay so now that we're done with the foundations we can go on to the next drawer which is the blushes so basically i do need to get rid of this one i do need to get rid of all of my tarte blushes because these ones are really old i think i got these like about three years ago i also have to get rid of the becca blush in wild honey this i believe i do have a backup but this is like empty then the tarte blush this is also old as well this one as well, this is also the matte powder. This one also has to go, but I'm gonna empty these ones first just because of the MAC program. So I'm gonna empty these and recycle them as well. Similar to this one, I also got this one Love Thing. I got this one in the IMATS years ago, I think back when I was in high school. So this definitely also has to go. 
similar to the Mac Simpsons collection. This was years ago. Literally, it was years. And you can see I barely used it as well. Yeah, so this one also has to go in the garbage. So the next few drawers are solely on, these are bronzers and these are highlights. So a lot of these do need to go, such as my Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo. This is really old. My Old Darling. This one also has to go as well. My Becca Opal and Champagne Pop. These ones are all really old. So these, I probably might just get new ones. So these ones all have to go in the garbage. These ones I am gonna keep because I haven't opened these. And I believe these are from a year ago. So these ones I'm gonna keep. My Cover FX highlighting stick. This one has to go. This one I do use a lot. This is my Jouer Skinny Dip. So this one I'm keeping. This is my Fenty one. This is from Tracy. This one has to go. I believe I got this in an Ipsy bag. This one also has to go. This one I haven't even used and I got this a few years ago. My Girl Lactic ones. These ones have to go. These one I had like about four years ago. No use for them now. And my Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, this one also has to go too. Rose Gold, this one can stay. Bodice Couture one. Oh, this is a powder. I don't know what this is doing here. This one also has to go as well. This is part of the Mariah Carey collection. And by any time I mention a MAC product has to go, I'm literally just going to empty it out and recycle the packaging. So this one is the Champagne Dream. This one I'm keeping. And this one is pretty old. This is by Bobbi Brown. This one also has to go as well. So yeah, this really emptied the drawer, if you guys can tell. So the drawer definitely looks a lot more emptied. Now we are going to go on to my bronzers. So there are quite a few bronzers in here. This one is also a highlight. This one I didn't have room, so this one goes up here. My Marc Jacobs one, this is a keep. Some of the Charlotte. This Fenty one is gonna go, because I had this for a really long time. This one I'm gonna keep, this one is relatively new. Master Chrome, this one has to go. This one's an oldie, but it's a goodie. This is my Tom Ford. This one is definitely staying. And these are highlights as well. I don't know what, so these are going in here. This is my Kylie highlight. This one has to go. This one I'm keeping because this one I got pretty recently, but this is also a highlight. You can definitely see I do not have room for a lot of my highlights. This is the Emreezy highlight. So this one is very old. I got this years ago. So this one definitely also has to go in the garbage. And the texture is still not the same when you apply it on the face, so yeah. Trophy wipe. This one is also going in the garbage. And my Rihanna bronzer. This was such a good collection. You can definitely tell I was obsessed with the Matt Rihanna collection. This one also has to go in the garbage because it is really old. So you can definitely see I have a lot more room here. Now these. So these are my Dior eyeshadows. These ones are staying. Oh, these ones are my Max Cinderella collection. I remember I was in grade 10 when I waited for this to come back in stock. So this one has to go in the garbage. Unfortunately, this was a collector's item, but it is really old and I have used it, so this one has to go. This one is new. 
So basically, these are all my Kylie eyeshadows. I did get these a few years ago. So these ones all do have to go in the garbage. Same with these. I did get these in an Ipsy bag. So these ones also have to go in the trash. These ones I did get last year, so these ones are staying. These ones are staying as well. This is going in the carpet. This was the Becca Jaclyn Hill eyeshadows. These ones, these were amazing, but these ones are also like a few years old, so these ones also have to go. It's surprising that you can imagine how much makeup has definitely built up. Yeah, this one also has to go. Similar to the Steel Eyeliner, this one too. And this Luna eyeshadow also has to go in the garbage. So this Mariah Carey eyeliner also has to go in the garbage as well. As well as this Anastasia pomade too because it does expire within six months according to the label. So this one also has to go. Okay, so on to this next drawer over here. So these are basically all of my liquid eyeliners, all of my eyeshadows, everything like that. Oh my god, it came out of the drawer. Okay, so let's start. These ones are relatively new so these ones are staying similar to the Fenty sticks. Okay, so these are two L'Oreal eyeshadows. These ones have to go in the garbage. This is the MAC Gel Eyeliner. This one is also really old. This one has to go. Similar to this one, this is by Ico, and this Bite Beauty one as well also has to go. This Kylie gel liner. Oh my gosh, look guys, it literally has shrunken from the sides. This is really old. And similar, I have to get rid of this, this. And this old MAC eyeshadow also has to go. These ones I did get recently, so these ones are staying. So my toiler Marcia. And Armani. This Josie Marin one, it is really old. So yeah, this one also has to go. This one can stay, these ones can stay. The Clinique Chubby Stick, this one has to go because this one's really old. Yep, and this drawer, it is okay. Now for the bottom one. So these are basically like a lot of my backups. This is a highlight. This is by Kadra. This one is new, so this one can go in here. These are all of my bases by P. Louise. This is glitter. This is my Fenty highlight. I completely forgot I had this because it was at the bottom of the drawer. So this has to go. I have no idea what this is. I did get this in gratis when I first started, but have no idea what it is. So this has to go. These are glitter, so these ones can stay. This is my Kaja blush, so this can go somewhere else. This is an eyeliner. And basically all of these MAC pigments do have to go because I have not used them. 
and I have so many of them, but I know they are really expired because I did have these for four to five years now. So they definitely all need to go in the garbage, unfortunately. Yeah, all of these do because especially because I got these in the limited edition Christmas collection. So they all have to go in the garbage, unfortunately. Okay, so these have to go. These ones I did get last year, so these ones can stay. Same with these, these are glitters. Well, technically this is a glitter, so this one can stay because it is a glitter, not an eyeshadow. This is also a glitter too. These are eyeshadow bases. Oh, I do have eyeshadow primers. And this is another clear brow gel. These are mirrors. This is a, this was supposed to be a clear eyelash glue, but clearly it's not clear anymore. So this is really bad, so this has to go. So that is it for this drawer. So now we are going to declutter all of my eyeshadow palettes. So there are quite a few that I do need to get rid of. So such as this one, everything's basically all over the place here. So this is my hourglass ball, so this definitely needs to go. These are my Charlotte Tilbury, these ones can stay. This palette by Kylie, it's okay, but I honestly did not like the fallout of this palette. So this one's definitely gonna go in the trash. These are my two Tarte palettes. These ones I've had since probably after high school, which was probably like six years ago. So these ones have to go. My old school chocolate bar palette. This is amazing. I love this palette. It honestly doesn't smell that much like chocolates anymore, but this was like a holy grail palette for me. I honestly really wish Too Faced didn't discontinue this palette, but this one unfortunately does have to go because it is years old, so. Similar to this Kylie palette, this one is also really old. This one is about like, I think two to three years old. So this one also has to go. This one is one of the first Anastasia palettes that I got. This is a Tamana Dress Your Face palette. I love this palette so much. Um, honestly, I didn't know at the time. I think I got this back in high school, how to play with the shades. But these palettes, this palette is amazing. Like I love this palette, all the colors and everything. It is so cute. I honestly wish Anastasia re-released re this palette. It was amazing, but this is really old, so this one also has to go. So these are my old MAC eyeshadows. These ones I got from IMADS back about like five years ago when I was building my eyeshadow collection. But honestly, like these shades, they are really old. As you can see, the pigmentation probably isn't the same, the blendability. Plus there was a lot of fallout with these colors. So these definitely do have to go as well. I'm gonna see if I'm able to recycle these eyeshadows. I'm not sure if I'm able to, but we shall see. These are all of my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. All of these, they're all Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I was obsessed with Makeup Geek, with having all of the shades. I remember in high school, I think this was in grade 12 of my first year of undergrad, I was obsessed with all of her shades. They were amazing at the time. But unfortunately, all of these do have to go in the garbage because they are really, really old. All the shades except this one over here. This is a Makeup Forever shade. This one definitely can stay because I did get this last year. I think like a year ago. But honestly, everything else can go, unfortunately. This palette has done me so well over the years. Also, these ones as well. Um, I'm not sure what really these pans are in here. But I do know I haven't touched them in like three years or so since I started working at Sephora. Uh, same as these ones, I don't know what shadows these are. I believe these might be like Avon shadows, I believe, but these are really old. I'm gonna keep the Z palettes, of course, but I'm definitely gonna take all of these out and declutter them. This is also my old Vice palette. I love this palette so much. As you can clearly see, I haven't touched it, but I did love the color palette selection in here. But this definitely does have to go because this is, I think, like five, six years old. Okay, this. It's definitely an old Morphe palette because you can definitely see it does have the old packaging. Yeah, this definitely also has to go and it also smells really bad too. 
Okay, so now that this shelf is done, we're gonna go on to the disaster shelf. So this shelf does have a lot of old things. But first, these are all the palettes I'm getting rid of. All of these have to go, unfortunately. The Z palettes I'm obviously keeping, but these ones have to go. Okay, starting with all of this, these I am keeping. This is relatively new. Okay, I'm gonna start with these stuff over here because I know these stuff are pretty new. So like this one, I got this a few months ago. These ones are okay to keep because I did get these a few months ago, like last year. These ones are also the Makeup by Mario highlights. These ones can stay. These are good to stay. These are all new, these ones over here. Because these ones are all got last year. This is a complexion. Oh, I literally had no room for these whatsoever. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna get rid of these because I literally have no room. These are all face palettes. Okay, this is really old. This is the Tartus Contour Kit. And this is back when they did, I think, the Makeup by Sheila launch so this definitely also has to go uh, this was from last year so this one can stay this is the chica tom by benefit this one i've had this for years now so this one has to go same with all these mac blushes these ones are also really old i had these for quite a while so these ones also have to go but i am going to empty them out from the z palette my kat von d contour set this one is also really really old you can definitely say i hit pan on a lot of these shades this is my go-to contouring kit i love this one so much but this one also has to go my anastasia contour kit this one has also been used and abused as you can definitely see i hit pan on a few of them but this one also has to go same with this one this is the blush kit I haven't even gotten a chance to use this, but I know this one is like about three years old. This one also has to go. This is the Jaclyn Hill by Becca collab. This one, I love this palette so much, but this one also does have to go as well because it is also old. These two palettes, the Anastasia Glow Kits, I've had these literally for years. You can definitely see I did get a lot of use out of them. They definitely do also have to go as well, but I love these so much. My Kyla kit, I remember I got this about three, four years ago. This was the wet set. This one, you can definitely see I haven't even touched. I just swatched them in the corners, but this one also has to go in the garbage because it is also really old. And these two palettes as well. These are also my Anastasia palettes. This is the glow kit that they released. And then this is also the Nicole Guerrero palette. This one also does have to go as well because I haven't touched them and these are also pretty old. Actually, I'm actually gonna keep this one because this one isn't that old. Actually, yeah, it is old. And you can definitely see I did clear up a lot of space here. Now in this bin over here, I do have my Fenty Beauty, my P. Louise, these ones I'm keeping. This primer is also really old. This is a travel size one. This one has to go. This one was my Makeup Forever powder. This is the old one. This one also has to go as well because I've had this for a while. And my glitter glue. This one's also pretty old too, so this one des definitely also has to go. And yeah. So basically, all of these are going to be going in the garbage. This is actually a lot of makeup that I actually stocked up on. So these all have to go in the garbage. So this is the final production of all the makeup that I decluttered over the years. You can definitely see we started off with an empty Sephora box and now it is basically full. So that is all emptied. Next you can see we got, we did get rid of quite a few MAC products over here. So we got rid of these two palettes that I am going to declutter from the Z palettes. And then basically we got rid of a lot of 
lipsticks and powders and blushes and a lot of the MAC pigments that we definitely did not need anymore. So definitely these are all going to go back to the MAC store for recycling. And then these are all the palettes. So these are all the palettes that I am getting rid of, unfortunately. So these are definitely a lot of palettes that I have definitely collected over the years. And I definitely do not need them anymore because when they are expired too, I barely use them. And they do have a shelf life of up to 12 months anyways. So it's definitely good to get rid of a lot of these products. So yeah, that is how much I definitely got rid of. So that is it guys. That is it for my decluttering series of all my entire makeup collection. Honestly, this video needed to be done. I needed to clean up my entire makeup collection to see all the things that I didn't need, was expired, all of that kind of stuff. It definitely makes you think of all the money that we do spend on all the hyped up products, all the new products and all the brands that definitely come up with like a lot of these. And it definitely makes you rethink of a lot of the things that you actually need and don't need when you actually do go through your collection. I don't know, like I know my collection isn't as big as some of the other influencers, but definitely for me it is quite big because clearly you saw like I didn't use some of the products anyhow or some of the products like I just didn't end up liking and stuff like that. But I'm just glad I was able to get rid of all of that makeup, especially all of the MAC makeup as well. Those are definitely going to go back to the store. I am definitely going to depot all of the blushes and the lipsticks as well, recycle them so that way I'm able to get either a free lipstick or an eyeshadow. So it's always good to recycle and help the environment as well. So I did hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I did get rid of a lot of makeup. All of that definitely has to go in the trash. But I did hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy these decluttering videos. I know they were a lot and I hope it inspires you to actually go through your makeup collection, either declutter or organize it, however you see fit to do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.